Hey guys, I'm Sebastian, host of Ninth Island Connection, your weekly lifestyle resource for all things Vegas. Check out the description below so that you can see how you can watch our television show wherever you are. And if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. All we do is bring you Vegas. Take some time to look around. We do pros and cons. We do room tours. We do gambling, anything having to do with Vegas. You will not be disappointed. So in this video here, which you already know by the thumb, we're at the Cromwell and I can't believe this is the first time we've ever stayed in a two queen. And that's because they oversold the one Kings. I mean, we are checking in pretty late here. It's almost 8.30 here. So all of the single Kings, even though that's what I booked, but whatever, they gave us a slight upgrade to the top floor. We do have two Queens and we have a strip view. So let's check it out. So as you can see behind me, here's the, the entry is right into the bedroom. So this is a, what's considered a boutique hotel. And what does boutique means? It means that the rooms are smaller because this is an older, smaller property. So right when you walk in, you're right into the bedroom. You've got one queen sitting right there. You've got another one right next to it, separated by this, actually this pretty cool little nightstand over here. It's funky. Like, this is the biggest lampshade I think I've ever seen in a hotel. Anyway, it's pretty cool over here. This is actually pretty nice. And this right here goes along with the rest of the room. You can see the decor. It all matches. You've got these faux wood floors, which is pretty cool because a lot of people don't like the dirty carpet in the hotel rooms, right? So here the carpet is gone. And you've actually, on this side of the room, right next to the entry, uh, you've actually got a pretty cool piece of furniture here. This is pretty cool. Looks like they used to have some snacks in here, but they moved it all up top. A couple drawers. And let's see what we got in here. Ah, this is the stocked mini fridge. So if you haven't seen one of these before, you pay for all of that. That is not complimentary. And if you try to take that out, take out the contents and use it for your own, they're gonna charge you anyway. So you're better off just leaving that alone. Unless that's in your budget. If you wanna pay $40 for the tiniest bottle of Tito's, that's, that's, that's your budget, that's your budget. And same thing with the snacks up here. None of this is complimentary. It's best to just leave it alone. You still have plenty of room for your stuff up here. So then as you move into the room, you've got like a little leather love seat over here, which is nice. Check out this cool art. You've got a big mirror over here. So as you come back through the room, you've got this big closet space here. Actually pretty nice. Your iron, ironing board, get some hangers up there, luggage rack. So pretty nice storage over there. And then over here, you got a little spot. You can go ahead and get dressed. You know what? I still haven't seen a safe. I wonder if they just don't have them anymore. But anyway, they've got this little thing right here. You can go ahead and get yourself right for the night out. This is that strip view I was telling you about. Oh, check it out. Bellagio Fountains. Perfect timing. And now for the bathroom. So they've got these like, what do they call these barn doors or farm doors? You guys let me know if it's barn or farm. But because the room is smaller, this actually saves space so you're not opening out or opening into the bathroom. So this is pretty cool. That's real wood. Let's check out the bathroom. Really cool and modern in here. So first you've got, you don't have a door here, but you do have a separate toilet area. And then right when you walk into the bathroom, you have your sink right here. You got some uh, Jose Hebert bath products, tissues and stuff. It's actually pretty decent. And then you have the shower there with a couple shower heads and you've got a nice little steam bench. All right guys, that's a wrap on this one. We wanna hear from you. What are your thoughts on the Cromwell. Have you stayed here before? Would you stay again? 
Let us know what you guys think. And again, check out the description below so that you can see how you can watch our television show. Don't forget to hit us up on social media and check us out every single Wednesday in 2024. We go live between the hours of noon and 1 p.m. Vegas time where we bring you an update on what to expect in Vegas that upcoming weekend. So we go live on Wednesday. We let you know what's up on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday if it's a long weekend. And we're talking construction, we're talking airport delays, we're talking new restaurants, events, everything going on on that specific weekend so that you can have the best possible vacation. So we were looking to just start unpacking here and I checked the bottom drawer and we found the safe. And I always check to see if somebody left something behind. <laughs> hours a day, seven days a week in a city that never sleeps, Ninth Island Connection will take you there. You won't want to miss a beat as we give you a sneak peek inside the biggest, best, and most outrageous hotspots both on and off the strip. Be sure to tune in to Ninth Island Connection with Sebastian Rodriguez every week. Great people, great stories, great connections, only on Ninth Island Connection.